Hi there, my name is Samantha, and today I'm going to be talking about how I lost my septum piercing. Oh, I am so sad that I have to talk about this, but I want to let you guys know because you guys might be confused if you're seeing my videos after watching me getting my septum pierced and you're like, uh, where's your septum? So, as many of you may know, if you have watched my recent videos, you might know that yes, I have gotten my septum pierced. I also have gotten some other piercings. I have gotten my eyebrow pierced and I still have that and I am in love with it. I also really did like my septum, but unfortunately that was lost and I'm going to tell you about it. When I first got my septum piercing, I loved it. I was absolutely in love, but it's kind of funny because when I first discovered septum piercings online, I thought they were the most hideous piercings ever. And I remember I was looking at pictures of them and I was like, ew, gross, these look horrible. Why would you even want to get a piercing there? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. But then I was on YouTube one day and I found some more videos, but they were of girls getting their septums pierced. And these girls had wider noses and as a white girl, most white girls usually have more small petite noses. I have a wider nose than most white girls. So when I saw the videos of these girls that had wider noses like me, I was like, oh my God, that looks so good on them because it suits their nose shape. It makes their noses look just a little bit smaller and it just, it makes, it just, it suits their face. And with girls with smaller noses, it doesn't usually suit them as much. It's hard to find a girl with a small nose and have a septum piercing and have it suit them. So I was amazed to know that if you have a wider nose, you have a wider chance of it fitting and suiting. So then the sudden thought came to me and I thought, huh, I wonder if this would suit me. So I asked my parents if I could get my septum pierced. They said, yes, we went down to a piercing shop called Eye of the Lotus. The link will be in the description for that shop down below as will be the video of me getting my septum pierced. So we went to that shop, I got my septum pierced, loved it, it was really swollen. And if you wanna hear a bunch of information about septums, there will also be a video linked down below. Okay, so remember how I said that I really loved my septum piercing at first? Well, I did also fall out of loving it pretty rapidly and that was all for one reason. That was due to mostly peer pressure. And the reason why I say that is because when I went to my dad's house for the weekend, he would make fun of it a lot. And that really put me down because he said that it made me look like a bull and like a horse, because a lot of bulls have that piercing for whatever reason. I don't know a lot, anything about bulls, but a lot of them have that sort of horseshoe piercing. And so he would make fun of me for it and it made me feel really down about it which I feel really bad about saying but it is true that's the truth and I really started to fall out of love with it and I felt ugly because of it and then I just I felt hideous with it and I thought oh my god well maybe this doesn't suit me maybe this does look as bad as he's claiming it to be you know and my family started making fun of me for it and I just I felt bad about it overall and so that also made me okay with me losing it, so I will get to the losing part now. So how I lost it is, I was at my dad's, coincidentally, and I was sleeping, and I woke up the next morning, and I went to go feel for my piercing, because I do that every morning to make sure it's in, because it wasn't the full-on septum piercing like I had had before because I had gone back to the piercing so shop and gone a, another uh, different kind of jewelry. And it's not like the typical horseshoe where it's like that and then there's two little balls here and it goes like that. Um, instead, it's like, a, it's like kind of like a square, like kind of like a rectangle square. And that's how it is in your nose. And you kind of put it in like that in your nose. Anyway, so that makes it very easy to fall out because there isn't those balls like the typical horseshoe jewelry piercing. So that makes it very easy to fall out and you can lose it very easily. So, and that's what happened. 
I was sleeping and in my sleep, I tossed and turned. I don't know what I did, but I did something to somehow push it out all the way and I lost it. Two days later, I found it. It was on the floor and I was like, oh my God, this isn't going to fit in. And guess what? It didn't. I tried so hard to get that stupid piercing through, but it would not go through the already healed skin in the hole that was pierced. So unfortunately, I did lose my septum piercing, and if I would want to get it back, I would not suggest shoving it through, because you do have to get it pierced again if you want a chance of, like, no infection or anything like that. So I think that that's just a sign that maybe the septum piercing wasn't meant for me. And I'm just going to take it as a sign from fate that it's just not the piercing that was meant for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll get like a hoop piercing because I have tried a fake one and I did really like it. So I'm just assuming that maybe that's a piercing that's meant for me. I don't know. It might make my nose look wider because of the nose shape. A lot of girls who have really small petite nose, those are the nose jewelry that look best for them but I don't know we'll find out in the future I think I'll just stick to this guy for a while because this guy hasn't done anything wrong hasn't rejected or anything it stayed healthy it's healed very nicely and I love it so I don't know I think I might just stick to my eyebrow for now but anyway that's my story and I hope you guys enjoyed that video so thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys had a great day and I will see you guys hopefully in the next video. So without further ado, stay random and bye.